What's going on everybody? This is 2K Toro and I am here to bring you another banger. Yo, we have a really cool video for you guys today because I am going to show you how to make the two-way inside out score. D do you even realize what that build is? You can score on the inside, on the outside, and you're a two-way. This build might just break the game. I don't know, I'm just saying. Now we are going to jump straight into the build video, but before we do, like always, I am going to ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. You guys have been showing me a ton of support lately, and I am so thankful for each and every one of you. So thank you very much, and you know what? Let's see if we get this video to 500 likes, guys. Come on, I know we can do it. Now for this build, I did make him into a point guard. You can do shooting guard if you like, but that's up to you. And for the pie charts, we are going to select defense and shooting. And for the physical pie chart, we are going to select the first one to maximize agility. Now for the potential, you do have to copy exactly what I have on the screen to make the two-way inside out score. But you are going to finish with six finishing badges, 15 shooting badges, 10 playmaking badges, and 21 defending and rebounding badges. Yo, that is a grand total of 52 badges, guys. I honestly cannot wait to max this player out. I'm having a lot of fun with him so far. Now, for the height, it really is up to you. If you want to leave him at 6'3", you can. But for this video, I feel like actually in the past videos, I have been making a lot of my players a little shorter. So for this build specifically, I'm going to bring him up to 6'5". And for the weight, we are going to bring him down to 178 pounds. As far as the wingspan goes, I did leave it as is. And last but not least is the takeover. Go ahead and pick whichever one you want, but I went ahead and selected spot up shooter. And once you do all of these things, you will have the two way inside out scorer, ladies and gentlemen. The player comparisons are DeJounte Murray, Steve Francis, and Stephen Curry. I don't really see that, but all right, cool. Whatever 2K says. I am also going to show you guys the badges that I have equipped it for this player. First is finishing, and I have Giant Slayer and Contact Finisher. Since you're a point guard, these two badges are very important. And for the shooting, I decided to do something a little different. From the beginning, since you don't really have any hot zones, I did not include that. I did put, however, Catch and Shoot on Silver, Corner Specialist on Bronze, Dead Eye Hall of Fame, Green Machine on Bronze, Quick Draw on Gold, and Range Extender Hall of Fame. But once you do get your hot zones ready to go, I would probably take out Corner Specialist, Green Machine, and knock Range Extender down to Gold maybe, and get Hot Zone Hunter up to Gold, because that is a very important bag, guys. And for playmaking, guys, I do have Handles for Days, Quick First Step, and Unpluckable, all on Gold. And for the last badge, I do have a Dimer for your bad teammates that you want to help out a little bit. You can honestly go ahead and mix and match these badges however you want that best fits your playstyle. But these are just some of the examples that I'm showing you here today. And for defense, you can honestly kind of go a little crazy here because you do have so many. I do have, however, Clamps and Pick Dodger on Hall of Fame, Chase Down Artist, Interceptor, Intimidator, Pickpocket, all on gold. And to shake things up a bit, I have a rebound chaser on bronze so he can cash the board and push it down the court. But that does it for me, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope this video helps you out. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Peace.